While the University of London professor says that it's inevitable that the latest strain of mpox will hit the UK and call for those most at risk to get vaccinated. The World Health Organization declared the ongoing outbreak of mpox in the Democratic Republic of Congo and elsewhere in Africa to be a global emergency requiring urgent action to curb the virus transmission. Yes, it is inevitable um, that this strain of this new strain of MPOX that started off uh, in 2024 um, from the Democratic Republic of Congo, but's now spread to at least nine neighboring countries, will come to the UK because of international travel. That doesn't mean it will spread to, uh, widely within the UK, uh, because uh, in the UK we have the ability to diagnose and do contact tracing, and also to provide vaccination to people who have been exposed. So there have been severe shortages in 2022-23 to what is in fact the smallpox vaccine that also works against mpox. Um, we do have much better um, amounts of vaccine, but we've been giving it to people uh, who are at risk. Um, and we do have enough to give to people who are uh, healthcare providers who are exposed uh, or people who've been exposed uh, by contact with someone who's returning traveller. There's enormous shortages in the places that need this most. Uh, in the countries that are affected, there's almost no vaccine. And unless we can uh, stop this at the source, um, because of international travel and migration, uh, this will spread uh, in other countries. Um, not really, because right now, uh, two years on, there's still no vaccine available in the countries that need it most and are most affected. So lessons haven't been learned. Um, the uh, de declaration of a public health emergency of international concern is helpful because it allows the vaccine to be emergency licensed in those countries. Um, and there has been some promises of uh, donations from stockpiles, both in Europe and the US. But this is only about 250,000 uh, doses when actually millions of doses are needed. The company who makes the vaccine uh, is not marketing the drugs in Africa and is saying that it will rely on donations to these countries. But this is tens of millions of, of, of doses that are needed. So uh, this is a more uh, dangerous uh, strain that was here in 2022-23. It's 10 times more dangerous in terms of death. Um, so we should be worried. But I think what, what we found is that it's people that are immunosuppressed who are at the highest risk uh, in the last outbreak. Uh, and we know that this will be the case with this strain as well. So people who are uh, who've been advised to get vaccinations uh, should get their vaccinations uh, as planned.